cleanser. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Sacred Heart Cathedral this beautiful evening. Tonight, we're celebrating um, the fourth Wednesday of the fourth week in Ordinary Time. Our Mass intention this evening is for Joanne Bell. It's also the Feast of St. Blaise today, so for those who maybe missed their St. Blaise throat blessing, I will offer that once again after Mass in a communal way, and for those who are watching this live stream. So we begin with our opening antiphon this evening that prays, Save us, O Lord our God, and gather us from the nations to give thanks to your holy name and make it our glory to praise you. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, may the grace and the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. In preparing ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries this evening, let us call to mind our sins. Lord Jesus, you were sent to heal the contrites. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you came to call the sinners. Christ, have mercy. And Lord Jesus, you plead for us at the right hand of our Father in heaven. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us for our sins, and bring us all to everlasting life. And we pray. Grant us, O Lord our God, that we may honor you with all of our mind and love everyone in truth of heart. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, in your struggle against sin, 
you have not yet resisted to the point of shedding blood. You have also forgotten the exhortation addressed to you as children. My son, do not disdain this discipline of the Lord or lose heart when reproved by him. For whom the Lord loves, he disciplines. He scourges every son he acknowledges. Endure your trials as discipline. God treats you as, son, as his sons. For what son is there whom his father has, does not discipline? At the time, all discipline seems a cause not for joy, but for pain. Yet later, it brings the peaceful fruit of righteousness to those who are trained by it. So strengthen your drooping hands and your weak knees. Make straight paths for your feet, that what is lame may not be dislocated, but healed. Strive for peace with everyone, and for that holiness without which no one will see the Lord. See to it that no one be deprived of the grace of God, that no bitter root spring up and cause trouble, through which many may become defiled. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord's kindness is everlasting to those who fear him. The Lord's, the Lord's kindness, kindness is, is everlasting, everlasting to, to those, those who, who fear him. him. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all my being. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. The Lord's, the Lord's kindness, kindness is everlasting to those who fear him. him. As a father has compassion on his children, so the Lord has compassion on those who fear him. For he knows how we are formed. He remembers that we are dust. The Lord's yeah. kindness is everlasting to those to who, those fear, who him. fear him. But the kindness of the Lord is from eternity, to eternity to Lord, those who fear him, and his justice toward children's children among those who keep his covenant. The Lord's, the Lord's kindness, kindness is, is everlasting to, to those who fear him. him. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. My sheep hear my voice, says the Lord. I know them and they follow me. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. Jesus departed from there and came to his native place, accompanied by his disciples. When the Sabbath came, he began to teach in the synagogue, and many who heard him were astonished. They said, where did this man get all this? What kind of wisdom has been given him? What mighty deeds are wrought by his hands? Is he not the carpenter, the son of Mary, and the brother of James and Joseph, Judas and Simon? Are not his sisters here with us? And they took offense at him. And Jesus said to them, A prophet is not without honor except in his native place, and among his own kin and in his own house. So he was not able to perform any mighty deed there, apart from curing a few sick people by laying his hands on them. He was amazed at their lack of faith. The Gospel of the Lord. <clears throat> the readings tonight, again, as so often happens, there are so many messages in these readings. The book of Hebrews continues, we read it this week, but that, mess, that verse that, that um, Brent read for us, do not disdain the discipline of the Lord or lose heart, for the Lord disciplines those he loves. And that sometimes is something we need to remind ourselves when we feel discouraged, when we feel down, when we feel like you know, everything is against us, or we're going through some difficult time, that God never gives us more than what we can handle. The cross is never bigger than we can carry. And it's through our hardships that we are perfected, that we grow. When we look hindsight vision at any hardship that we have 
and look at ourselves today. Did we benefit from that hardship? Are we better because of it? And we're quite blind if we don't recognize how hardships increase our being and how God is bringing us closer to him through them. There's a theology in that. There's an understanding in that. There's a great love in that. And that's the gift that our faith has to offer to us. But that gospel reading as well, that Jesus was not able to perform any mighty deed there. What? Jesus can do anything. I mean, he could raise the dead, turn water to wine, and cure the sick. But that verse, he could not perform any mighty deed because of their lack of faith. What is needed for Christ to perform any work among us is our faith. And so it only begs the question is how deep is our faith that we believe that Jesus can work miracles in our lives? And let us pray that we may grow in that faith, we may trust in that faith, that through that faith that Jesus can perform any mighty deed if we only believe. Amen? Let us stand and let us pray. Together we lift up our hearts in prayer to God who blesses us with abundance and who is present to us in our needs as we pray for all members of the church. May the Holy Spirit continue to guide us in the ways of the Lord. We pray to the Lord. For peace in our world, peace in our hearts, we pray to the Lord. For all who struggle with addictions that the Lord may the Lord's kindness and compassion may come upon them, we pray to the Lord. For this faith community, may the Lord sow seeds that bear much fruit in the lives of discipline, we pray to the Lord. And for our beloved dead, remembering Joanne Bell this day and all who have died. Three years ago, also Monsignor Prezik died this day. We remember him in our prayers, that they may know the fullness of life with God in heaven. We pray to the Lord. Our prayer to St. Michael, we pray. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and the snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of hell, cast in him. And all the other evil spirits who ruin the souls, amen. Heavenly Father, hear our prayers, and in your great mercy, grant them according to your holy will. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this bread that we offer you through the earth and the work of human hands. May it become for us our bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and the work of human hands. May it become for us our spiritual drink. Pray, my friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. O Lord, our God, who once established these created things to sustain us in our families, grant, we pray, that they may become for us now the sacrament of eternal life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And the Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Truly right and just, our duty and salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love. His resurrection we confess with living faith. And his coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with the angels and saints we praise you. As with that end we acclaim, Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. 
At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, he broke it. He gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once again, giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in remembrance of me. In the mystery of faith, We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, that we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Thomas, our Bishop, the clergy, and all your faithful people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, that we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. For it is through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by his divine teachings, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, and grant us peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance to your will, who live and reign forever and ever. And may the peace of the Lord be with you all. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. Only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
uh, communion antiphon today prays. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are the meek, for they shall possess the land. And let us pray. Nourished by these redeeming gifts, we pray, O Lord, that through this help to eternal salvation, true faith may ever increase. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And as I promised, this Feast of St. Blaise, that blessings of the throat, seems so apropos this time of year with the colds and all that's going on, and perhaps even COVID, we call on St. Blaise to protect us and heal us. So, through the, ministry, through the intercession of St. Blaise, Bishop and Martyr, may you all be healed from every ailment of the throat and all other evils. <clears throat> through, through all other evils, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. As Mass is ended, let us go in peace, honoring the Lord with our lives. <clears throat>